We're talking about limiting, limiting beliefs. And here's why we're talking about this. Because I coach a lot of people, not just on my team, but just in general, right? And, and here's, why, here's why we're talking about this today. Limiting beliefs, okay? <sighs> this is something that comes up so frequently when I talk to people, right? People who are stuck, people who feel like they're, the needle is not moving forward in their business. Uh, and guys, it almost always comes down to limiting beliefs they have about themselves. I can't get customers. I can't recruit. I'm not good at video. I can't get on video. No one's going to watch me. I can't, I can't, I can't. And it's the, same, the story that you're telling yourself over and over and over again about what you can and cannot do. And guys, I'm telling you right now, in your business, you could be, you could have all the marketing knowledge. You could have all the social media knowledge in the world. And it ain't going to mean a damn thing if you don't believe in what it is that you're doing. If you don't believe in yourself. Okay, and these limiting beliefs pop up so often for business owners in general, but social sellers, network marketers, all that stuff is one of the biggest things that I hear, right? So we're talking about limiting beliefs because this is like the number one thing that people deal with. I'm going to use and I'm going to tell you what you need to start doing to reframe those limiting beliefs. Okay, because it doesn't matter what company you're in, doesn't matter if you have the, the most amazing comp plan on the planet, right? It's not going to matter if you do not believe in your ability to do the things that you need to do. If you do not believe in your ability to be a good leader, if you don't believe in your ability to, to help people in this industry, you're not going to. It does not matter. Okay, so we have to work on you and your beliefs and your the limiting beliefs, the beliefs that you have about yourself, the story that you're telling yourself over and over and over again that is keeping you stuck. We got to talk about that. Okay, and we got to we got to change the language. Okay, so I'm going to use I'm going to use one of the, okay, I'm going to I'm going to use one of the biggest limiting beliefs that I hear over and over and over again from people, right? And this probably sounds familiar to you. And I want you to drop a one in the comments if this is one of your limiting beliefs or maybe this is your limiting belief, okay? I can't recruit. There it is. I can't recruit. Drop a one in the comments if that is a limiting belief of yours or maybe it has been in the past. That was one of my limiting beliefs. I'm a top recruiter, <laughs> but that was one of my limiting beliefs. I'm telling you right now, I couldn't recruit to save my life. I can't recruit. Now, here's what happens. If that is, if, if that is truly what you believe, if that is what you are saying to yourself, if you're, if you're saying to yourself, man, I can't, I can't recruit. I can't do that. I, I can't bring on people onto my team. People aren't going to want to join me in business. I can't, I can't, I can't. What do you think is going to happen? What you speak about, you bring about 100%. Believe that. What you speak about, you bring about. So if you are telling yourself over and over every single day, I can't recruit, I can't recruit, I can't recruit, I suck at recruiting. What do you think is going to happen? You're not going to be able to recruit. So here's what I want you to start doing. I want you to change your language, okay? I want you to pick a new belief. I want you to pick a new belief, okay? So if my belief is I can't recruit, I want you to switch that belief, okay? And I want you to, I want you to start saying, when you start to feel yourself uh, uh, slip into that, right, of I can't recruit, I want you to change the language and I want you to say to yourself, I can recruit. I am a powerhouse recruiter. I'm going to start bringing people, I'm going to start bringing people onto my team like crazy, Right? Reframe the language. I seriously want you to say it out loud. <laughs> now that may seem crazy if you're in public or whatever, but I want you to reframe the language. Change your language. Change your belief. I am a. I can recruit. I am a badass recruiter. Yes, I love it, you guys. Love it, love it, love it. If you're picking up what I'm putting down, drop some flames in the comments or drop some praise hands in the comments, okay? Now, Something else I want you to start doing when you, I want you to reframe the language. Yes. And do that every single time you feel yourself slip back into that limiting belief. But I also want you to, um, pay attention 
to what, what triggers that, okay? When you start to think, oh man, I can't recruit, what triggered that thought in you? Start paying attention to those triggers, okay? When do you believe this? I can't recruit. Is it when somebody criticizes you? Is it when somebody tells you that you're never going to be able to do this in your business? Is it when somebody tells you that you're wasting your time building a business? Is it whenever you're looking at everybody else around you, you're not keeping your eyes on your own paper and you're looking at everybody else around you and you're saying, oh, well, they're recruiting and they're bringing people on and they're ranking up. Man, I can't recruit. What is triggering that in you? Okay, and I want you to pay attention to it because these things matter.